I don't know who this is for, but I wanted to make a video for this type of person. Be careful that when you're gonna go help somebody out, that you don't fall in the process of you helping that person. A lot of people that go out and enable people or they're codependent on people, etc. A woman will see a man and this man is into bad stuff and in her heart with good desires, she says, I'll fix him, I'll heal him, I'll bless him, I'll help him, I'll give him my house, he can live with me, uh, you know. And uh, just be careful because it's spiritual behind the scenes. I've seen pastors fall, I've seen women fall, I've seen all kinds of people fall. And the reason why they fall is because they're not prepared for the battle that's to come. The Bible says that you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against these demons that are using the people, right? These principalities, these powers. And so this, all this witchcraft, this manipulation that the person uh, brings to the table, right? The different versions of themselves. They'll show you a good version, a sweet version, a kind version, a nice, oh, this guy's a nice guy. All of a sudden, the next day, he's like, he wants to bite your head off. And you're like, man, what happened to the guy yesterday? These are the different spirits that that guy has, right? And he's occupied, that vessel's occupied, right? And then here comes you with good intentions to want to fix him, heal him, deliver him, whatever, okay? But be careful, the Bible says, be careful that you don't fall in the process. Because the demon will look at you, and they'll look at you like you're a target. They'll look at you as your prey, okay? This is how they look at you. And if you don't know who you are in Christ, you'll be like those people that went to cast out a demon. And the demon says, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? And those people were chased out of that, that place, butt naked, running away because the demons went and attacked them. The battle is real. Make no mistake about it. I've seen people, good people, pastors and everything fall because they bit off more than they could chew so like I said I don't know who this is for I'm not telling you to walk in fear I am not telling you to be a coward I'm not telling you not to help people I'm pro doing all those things I do it every day of my life what I am saying is this let me clear this. be prepared for the backlash after you help people bind up the, the, the spirit of vengeance, retaliation, and revenge. Important that you do that. Because you can help somebody and then you get attacked and you go home. You've heard of the saying, no good deed goes unpunished? Well, it's spiritual. The demons go after those people, they do good things, and they try to teach them a lesson so they won't do it again. God didn't call you to shrink back. He didn't call you to be a coward. He didn't call you to, you know, be comfortable and not do anything. I'm not telling you to do those things, please. Listen to my heart. I'm just trying to put... I'm trying to say, build yourself up in the truth. And when you go and help people, go with the mindset of understanding that it's going to be warfare. And the more prepared you are with the body armor of Christ, the blood of Jesus, and understanding how to go about things, the better you're going to come out. And that person's gonna come out. But uh, I've seen people fall, man. And uh, I myself, when I was in the world back in the day, I used to have people come up to me and try to help me. So I know this firsthand of the experience that I'm trying to tell people right now. It's spiritual and all that. I myself remember the demon that was living in me say, uh, that girl, she thinks she could get you. Watch what I'm going to do with her. And mind you, I wasn't spiritual back then. I didn't understand even that I had any demons. I just understood that there was a, a girl that wanted to help me. And um, she was reaching out in a godly way, giving me tracks to read and stuff like that. And I could see her efforts. And I remember the demon. And the demon's assignment was... Oh, that girl, we're going to get her. You know, we're going to make her twice. Twice as bad as you by the time we're done with her. Because I wasn't in control. It's an illusion that a sinner is in control of their own life. The demons want to 
those people. They're not in control of their own life. Right? That's why they do the things that they don't want to do. Right? And um, and that those things got to be, you know, they got to be delivered from those things. So that's for somebody out there. Just understand what's what and who's who because if you're blind and you're naive and you're gullible, you'll become lunch for these demons. So I'm just letting you know uh, God had me make this video for somebody. So, you know, pray about it. Pray about it. If, you, if you're trying to help somebody, I just want you to take it to God and really go about it strategically with caution and understand how to go about it. Okay? Alright.